Hello, Shalom, Rastafari. Now we're continuing on the study of the covert war, or the COINTEL PRO, um, the counterintelligence, uh, COINTEL PRO, the uh, uh, Satanistic agenda, Yehovah's saying, against His Imperial Majesty, against Christ and His kingly character, against the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah, against Sinai, Godfather, Ketamawi, Hila, Shalase, the covert war against H.I.M. Hala Selassie I, the king of kings of Ethiopia, and the plot to take the Ark of the Covenant. All right, and since we first uh, published a basic vid, making some basic connections between what we were seeing and the evidence that was being presented to, uh, to us, you understand, very persuasive evidence, it wasn't quite conclusive. You understand? It wasn't quite conclusive there. But we continued in the in studying and in the ministry and, and watching also other vids out there. I, I think we're going to segue to that particular vid um, that we have on hold, and hopefully um, we might have to refresh the window because um, yeah, in the preparation for this, you can see some of the bugs. You know, you probably get these bugs in your computer. But don't fear these things. Fear none of these things, all right? All right, now, as you can see over here in the fade, this is um, Melis Zanawi, right, Melis Zanawi, right, and this is, I think, Afro work, um, um, Afro, uh, Isaias Afro Worki, right, Etera, Eritrea, right, so um, there's a political backdrop to this. Now, we're in the 36, maybe 37 and counting year, you understand? sense um, the godless and creeping coup against his imperial majesty. Now let's recall that it's his imperial majesty who said, and let's see if this window opens up right here. Right? Let's see. Let's close this. Uh, delineate this. Let's bring this up right here. Close it was on stuck in the last. Okay, here we go. So let's uh, copy this picture right here. Right? And this from the, the April 6th Right, the April, no, April 8th, excuse me, April 8th, uh, 1966 issue of, um, of Time Magazine. They asked the question, is God dead? In fact, this will go well like this, right? Is God dead? Is it, it, now, you, are you seeing more of the fuller picture? The overs? Now, if you look at a vid, I think uh, Jordan Maxwell, he talked about this in one of his vids, talking about the... Some people think that the New World Order, the conspiracy, is just political or financial or economic. They don't recognize the, com the conspiracy is, is spiritual. You understand? It's spiritual. That's why they try to keep you from the Bible. That's why they try to keep you from being born again. That's why they try to keep you from those things. You understand? Because then you will begin to overstand. And if you overstand, then you will have the potential as well to overcome. So first time magazine, and, and, and when you, you study those who study the Illuminati, the Freemasons, the, conspir the Luciferian Satanists and everything, they, they do this a lot. That first they project an idea, right? Almost like what happened with Marcus Messiah Garvey. He, he saw it written in a newspaper that he, his obituary, and then he died. You know what I'm saying? That, this is a form of uh, occultic magic. You understand? So this is kind of a magic that they were doing. You understand? And, and, and you're seeing a, a visual of this, the actual Time Magazine article. You overs. And so when we speak about the so-called Illuminati and the Freemasons, there's a lot of um, um, false prophets out there or false news bearers out there that would make you believe, be lie Eve. See, Ethiopia was be lied like Eve was be lied. She was beguiled, Right? to basically bite the hand, right, bite the proverbial hand that, that fed, that fed, that fed her, excuse me, that fed her, all right, so let's just, let's just do this right here, because, um, let us put this, move this around, okay, so we're going to move this around, so, so we can have this on the pull-up right here, and, and show you this right here, so, uh, is it making more sense? Is it making more sense? You understand? And we're just using the evidence. If we were just to judge by the evidence that we have, 
You know what I'm saying? Judge, they wanted the old man dead. You know what I'm saying? The old man. They try to say his majesty was senile. They try to say all these kind of things. But as we're now studying the half of the story that wasn't told to us, as we're researching these things, we're finding these things now and seeing the fuller picture. But now, let's not forget that it begins in the spiritual world. Then it becomes psychological. And then we see manifestations of it, you understand, on earth or in the phi cycle or the physical. So it, from the spiritual to the, the psychical or the soul level, feelings and thoughts, hearts and minds, Jehovah's, and then it becomes manifest. It becomes a physical manifestation. All right? So now keep this in mind. Now remember, this is, this is a, a, a clip of the students, right? The students who were students of Hala Salati University. Remember that it is the Pearl Majesty, you understand, was the one who brought education and brought development and brought progress to Ethiopia, virtually bringing Ethiopia from like the, what, uh, 16th, 17th century or so to the 20th and even into really the 21st century. Now, there's a good vid out there called The Man of the Millennium. You should check it out for yourself, all right? Um, that will give you an, an, an Ethiopian, a native Ethiopian from home testimony of and concerning these particular things right here. Now, I want to say on this, is God dead? Rasta, your God is dead, um, subject matter and theme. You understand? I want to stay on this particular theme for a moment. And I want to open another speak, uh, another, uh, uh, the Oriana Falachi interview. And I want you to see it for yourself. Because some might just hear this, right? But they need to see it for themselves. All right? Just looking at some of the pics right here. Um, is God dead? Is God dead? All right? So this is a campaign. So let's recognize what this whole New World Order conspiracy goes way it goes way back. So let's write in right here, Selassie, right? Let's write Selassie. Let's write Oriana, right? Oriana. And I think she spells her name Falai, Falai Chi or Falai. I'll, I'll try one C right now. It might be two C. Okay, that's, that's the woman right there, right? That's her, Oriana Falai Chi. This is her right here, right? Also, is one C. That's her right there. Almost like Gloria Steinem, right? Doesn't she look a little like Gloria Steinem? Mm-hmm. I think she's really dead now. You know what I mean? In a sense, she was dead then, you know? You know, dead in her sins then. But um, I think she's really physically dead now, right? So this is, um, this might be, um, yeah, this this right here. Let's, let's get this picture right here. Let's. Now, later on, the Ethiopians, many of the Ethiopians, um, we call them Obamanites. Mm -hmm. They're of the tribe of o Obama. Anyway, um, and we've been hearing a lot of stuff about, oh, his imperial majesty, uh, or rather o o Obama, right? We've been hearing that Obama is a socialist, so forth and so on. And, and it's amazing that there are some socialistic links and everything there. Um, regarding and concerning um, Barack Hussein um, or Barack President Obama, right? Um, I want to say communist, but you know, social things, social policies, rah rah, rare, rare. That's his uh, democratic platform for his re election. But for us as Rastafari, it's not for us to go to the east, I mean, go to the, the left or the right. That's what I want to say. Go to the left or the right. I'm here trying to surf this, so excuse me for, 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 for those little um, oogles right there. It's not for us to go to the left or the right, because some people say, wow, this time that we're in. You understand? I mean, oh, wow. Like, I mean, look at this time that we're in. we got Obama, and some of us don't agree with some of his policies, you know, like the abortion, stuff like that, and, um, um, you know, um, some you know some of this other kind of stuff that even the, the the some of this homosexual kind of stuff because Rastafari you know that goes against our covenant our divine heritage you know what I'm saying we're not speaking to those individuals because remember a lot of children have been abused and a lot of people have been programmed and trauma through trauma so they believe these things that's what we have to be about the you know be about the gospel all right so and getting this set up right here right let me just take this. 
move this down a little bit, right? Okay, bring that there and bring that here. So we can see this in a, a, a full view right here, all right? So you can get more of a fuller picture. All right, now let's go to Oriana Falachi's, uh, her, this is her here again, right? Oriana Falachi. She had interviewed His Imperial Majesty, right? Let's find out when she interviewed him. And uh, let us, it was actually June 24th, I think, 1973, might be. Let's, let's go to Africa Speaks. All right, let's open up Africa Speaks. Because now, okay, it's kind of small here, but here's the interview from June, um, June uh, 24th, 1973. June 24th, 1973. So let's see if we can make this a little bit larger um, for you. Let's see. No, actually, do like this. Here we go. Good. It, 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 well, I don't think so. Some of it is actually out of out of frame over there. Oh, actually, that that should be good. You should be seeing it more or less in the whole frame. All right. So let's go to this interview because it's important for you to understand this interview, right? So interviewed his imperial majesty the lion of judah had prevailed moa on bessa zem negeta yehuda haila Selassie first edamawi haila shalase elect of god siyuma egaziaviher king of kings of ethiopia nagusa neges ze ethiopia right so this is a, a official this is an official recognize this this is the, his official um pronoun or his uh, um, official, uh, like, cartouche, in a sense, his name, his, his title, and, and, and the seal, the seal. This is the official seal in the English. So June 24th, 1973, right? The emperor of Ethiopia, lion of Judah, king of kings, elect of God, power of the Trinity, Haile Selassie was interviewed by Oriana Falachi, or fallacy, like a, a fallacy, Oriana fallacy, in his palace in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. Now, Falachi, she says some interesting things right here. Um, she says, uh, she says, Your Majesty, I would like you to tell me something about yourself. Tell me, were you ever a disobedient youth? In fact, you know, we were watching the Two Broke Girls thing, a, a commercial or something. And you see how Babylon is, you know, because we're publishing this and others are talking about it and they're checking us out. We got, you know, folks checking our channel out, what we're saying and what others like I and I are saying. Um, and they're picking up on things and they talk about the toxic man child in the two broke girls. You can put, check out that clip. Those who are on the media level, get that clip and, you know, put in what we're saying here and add the, the inspiration that you have to really get that idea. How the same thing is going on right here in this particular interview. She says, the first thing she says is, tell me, were you ever a disobedient youth? But maybe I ought to ask you first whether you ever had time to be young, your majesty. This was a, ever had time. Now, his majesty, or the Selassie here says, we don't understand that question. What kind of question is that? It is obvious that we have been young. We weren't born old. We have been a child, a boy, a youth, an adult, and finally an old man. So the child, one, youth, I mean boy, two, youth, three, adult, and old man. That's five. Remember, five is the number in, in Christian biblical, you understand, overstanding. It's the number of grace, all right? Um, Hana, as in Johannes, as in Ye Johannes Arai, or the vision, the revelation of John's grace, or of St. John, all right? So it says, like everyone else, our Lord, the Creator, made us like everyone else. Maybe you wish to know what kind of youth we were. Well, we were a very serious, very diligent, very obedient youth. We were sometimes punished. But do you know why? 
because what we were made to study did not seem enough, and we wished to study further. We wanted to stay on at school after lessons were over. We were loath to amuse ourselves. That means we hated to amuse ourselves, to go riding, to play. We didn't want to waste time on games on games. So he wasn't about play, play, play. wasn't about games, games, games. Remember when we were speaking about Lich Tafari and the man-child? Right? Let's go right here to Blue Letter Bible for a moment. Right? Lich Tafari and the man-child. Right? And let us look up on man-child. Right? Let's look up man-child right here. Right? And Lich Tafari and man-child. Right? So it says 22 times. Right? So what we're interested in is one right here. In, in verse 5 of chapter 12, let me just make this large and we just read the highlight verse and you can check out Lich the Fairy, Man Child, and 120 for yourself, right? So let's just bring that up and here we go right here. So you see it? All right. So let's read this right here. This one and this one, right? It says, and she. Right, this woman that she prophetically is Ethiopia or Ethiopia, right? And she brought forth a man child. So remember where when the word says, when Yahweh says, Aren't you like the children of the Ethiopians unto me? O children of Israel. And also recall where 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 Psalms eighty seven says, um, with Ethiopia, this man Right, this man child was born there. We're speaking of, of Lich Tafari, right? It says, and she brought forth a man child who was to rule what? All nations. Remember the scepter that was stolen from Judah and from Ethiopia was returned by the Duke of Gloucester of the English um, monarchy, right? It says, to rule all nations with a what? A rod of iron and her child, right? Her child. Yeshima Bet's child and Ethiopia's holy, it is speaking to Ethiopia's child, that new Jerusalem child was what was caught up to God. And what does Christ say God is? Says God is spirit, and those who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Not just spirituality, it must be true spirituality. You understand? And to his throne. Right to his throne. Remember the throne of David, Ethiopia. Revelation 12 and 13. And it says, and when the dragon, look at this key word, the dragon, because that's going to tie in as we go further. The dragon saw that he was cast into or to the earth. He persecuted the woman. Which woman? Ethiopia. Thus we have the fascist invasion of Ethiopia, circa um, 1936, right? So he persecuted the woman, that Christian, Judeo-Christian nation, which brought forth the man-child. So we, or the man, it says right here, child is, is, is out right there. When, when you study it in scripture, the, that, those things that are in the brackets, you find italicized in your Bible. So the translators put that there in order that the text would, um, you know, would make a little bit more sense. So let's go on right here. It's a wonderful answer as Majesty gives her, right? Now, Falachi, or fallacy, says, Your Majesty, of all the monarchs still occupying the thrones, you are the one that has ruled the longest. Key, key statement right here. Of all the monarchs still occupying the thrones, you know where, when Revelation says, and I beheld, well, actually, Donnell, Daniel says, and I beheld until the thrones were cast out, right? And I beheld, okay, let's go here because, see, a lot of y'all are, are, are a little bit biblically, scripturally unstable, unlearned. So you'll need to be able to do studies like this so you'll find the truth, right, for yourself. So it says the thrones, right? Let's look up thrones, right? And look up cast. And let's, let's put down here so we can narrow in on the verse. And the thrones cast down, right? Daniel, Daniel, Daniel 7 and 9, I beheld till the thrones were cast down. 
And the ancient, or we say ancient, right, of days did sit, whose garment was white as snow, and the hair of his head like the purest wool. His throne was like the fiery flame. Remember, it's the throne of David, right? And his wheels <laughs> as burning fire. His wheels as burning fire. So when we look at some of these uh, pics of his imperial majesty, right? Um, this is for May 5th right here. Um, let's see if we can show you a, 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 a picture of it. Let's open. This is a pretty stable uh, firefox here. Yeah. But let's go um, um, Selassie, right? And let's put ancient and let's put days, right? Selassie, ancient of days. There you go. Just we want to give you a visual. You know what I'm saying? We want to give you uh, a visual. Let's look at some other images right here, right? You see his garment? You know what I'm saying? You see his hair? You see him? We want you to understand, right? Who, um, Falacy, or Falachi, who, who, um, she interviewed. Let's move this over a little bit over here, all right, so, so you can see this, there's, uh, um, that throne pick. In fact, um, what, okay, here's Mussolini, to show you the Ancient of Days, you over that right there, there's, there's Mussolini, fascist member, it said the dragon. Now, when you look at the Vatican, in, in the Vatican, in the inner, in the inner sanctum, they have, um, they have, uh, actually, the dragon is their symbol. That's the secret symbol of the Vatican. And there's others who have done vids on it and basically have brought that, you know, have brought that to light. But we want to show you the ancient, right, the ancient, you see the ancient right there, the ancient of, of days, right, the ancient of days. Now, when you look further into Daniel's prophecy, it speaks about that kingdom, that the kingdom of God will be set up in those days. In those days, the days of who? You understand? The days of these ones over here. Let's just scroll over here for a moment, right? In days of these ones. Now, this is the League of Nations, right? You remember the League of Nations? You understand? The League of Nations that actually led to the United Nations. Let's get His Majesty... Uh, what just happened there? The picture flipped. You understand? But let's get a close up. All right, let's get that close up. Here we have it. Even better. You see the League of Nations. You understand? Showing you who, what, when, and why. That's the League of Nations. So we have the League of Nations connection right there. Right. In fact, um, let's just open this up a little bit more right here. And let, because you have to recognize that all eyes, it says. When, when Christ and kingly character return, all eyes will be able to see it. You know what I'm saying? This is no um, CGIF or whatever like that. We clearly know they, did, they wasn't up on that yet, but technology and everything would increase. Now, I want to show you this about the League of Nations, too. This is their symbol. You know what I'm saying? This is, this is, this is their symbol right there. Now, I was thinking, when I was thinking of this, right, and the Spirit was speaking to me, Right, the Holy Spirit, the Memphis Caduce, it said, when um, Alice Bailey, that, that, that Satanist, when she talks about um, externalization of the hierarchy, right, it's like this is inside, this is what's in the center of the five point of star. The externalization means these horns now come out. You know what I'm saying? And then when you look at the fact that uh, uh, what they call it, the Pentagon, it, it was, was, was built or whatever, what, September 11th. And September 11th is Ethiopia's New Year. You understand? And they wanted to persecute that woman, all of these Satanists. Let's put this over here, drop this off right here, right? So we have the League of Nations, right? Let's put it right here, the League of Nations, right? The League of Nations, all right? So we have this symbol right here. And, 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 and okay, that's a snake right there, and this is some of the graphics, you know, from it. And... So now, when we see these points come out, right, so you can, you can study up more. There's a lot of information out here. I think it was actually this picture right here. That was a picture right there from the League of Nations, right? You see the symbol right here, 1919. So you can clearly kind of make these connections because Matthew speaks about those five, you know, those five steps. You understand that grace, how grace 
you know what I'm saying, was affirmed and verified. All right, so that's the League of Nations, right? That's the League of Nations, and that's the persecution. And there's the there's that that adult, I guess we can say, at the adult phase before the old man. That adult, the with the man. And remember, we showed you in in Revelation chapter twelve, chapter twelve at verse uh, verse I think it was um, where it speaks about man and and then child is in brackets. You know what I'm saying? And his majesty speaking about these five steps, these five stages, should we say. So let's go on with this right here, because there's a main point connected with the, is God dead? And Rasta, your God is dead. You know what I'm saying? Rebuking that, but it's showing the evidence of it right here now. So that part about the thrones, the thrones being cast down, right? And, and, and what Falachi asked, and, and here Donnell said that he kept looking to the thrones were cast down, and the Ancient of Days, and the ancient of days did sit, right? So Oriana Falachi says, you know, she says basically that, um, she says over here, bringing it back over here, right? She says, your majesty, your majesty of all the monarchs still occupying the throne, you are the one that has ruled the longest. Okay, I will, I mean, I need to, I need to share this with you too as well. Let's look up King of Kings, right? Let's look up King of Kings. This is all on the Revelation, right? King of Kings, right? And we look up King of Kings, we're going to Timothy. All right, we're going to Timothy, we're going to a verse in Timothy right here. Let's see if we find Timothy. It says, it says, uh, Timothy, here's Timothy right here, Timothy 6 and 15, which in his times, in his zemin, in the Adis zemin, he shall shew who is the blessed and the only potentate, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. In his time, he shall do what? He shall show this. But it says right here that these shall make war with the Lamb, and the Lamb shall overcome them, for he is Lord of lords and King of kings. The Father and the Son is one. And they that are with him are the called and chosen and faithful. Right? So let's continue right here. This is, a, this is a very, you know, it's interesting that what comes out their mouth, you know, because like the devil knows that God is God, and they tremble. So what more do we do? Right? It says, occupying the thrones, right? All the kings, okay, second sentence. Moreover, in all age that has seen the ruinous downfall of so many kings, you are the one, he is the one, the only absolute monarchy. And they were vexed. And, and the serpent and the dragon is vexed about that. Right? Do you ever feel lonely? <laughs> you see, she's trying to soft kill. Do you ever feel lonely in the world so different from the one you grew up in? Mm hmm In other words, do you ever feel nostalgic about the past time, the good old days? Mm hmm well, what does his imperial majesty respond? It is our opinion that the world hasn't changed at all. Rastafari. So he's not dealing with illusions. Right? He says, we believe, we admit, in Amen, Amen, that such changes has modified nothing. So we say, oh, wow, look, everything is changing. We're in a different time. No, it's modified nothing. We don't ever notice Right, any differences between monarchies and republics. So we call ourselves we're in a republican society, like the republic for which it stands. Mm -hmm. But Obama is like the king, President Obama. You know, then George Bush was the king, and they were saying that after the 9 11 thing. To us, they appear two substantially similar methods of governing the nation. But if you ask the political sci fi people who've gone to college and learned all this mumbo jumbo, you know what I'm saying? They would tell you something different, but now they're basically seeing that they didn't even understand how the economic system is working. Now they graduate, they can't even find a job, and, and what they studied is out, outmoded, outdated, and everything. And then they owe a whole bunch of money with it, right? So, as Matt is correct, to us, they appear two substantially similar methods of governing the nation. Well, tell us. What's the difference between a republic? See, when he says us and we, that's the father and the son. He says us and we, that's the father and the son. 
You always, I want you to, the, from the theological, from Tawahido, from the Ritua, Haimanot, to overstand that, from our Imnet, right, that Imnetachin, right? It says, he asks, what is the difference between a Republican and a monarchy? Falachi, Salasi says, actually, Your Majesty, I mean, to me, it appears that in republics where democracy reigns, the leader is elected, but in monarchies, he isn't. That's their argument, right? Even today, that's their argument. Well, to me, and then he says right here, his majesty says, we don't see where the difference lies. Is it really, I mean, we find out that really we got two choices, Romney and, and, and President Obama. You understand, and more than likely, you know, some of us might favor Obama more than Romney, because Romney's religion, you know, it doesn't have a good place for us as black people. So, you know, I mean, he never says, he never repudiates it. So that means he still believes in it, because he's still a Mormon, all right? So we have to walk the straight way, you understand, the way, the truth, and the life. So Falachi, fallacy says, never mind. That's right, she has a never mind. She's in never, never land. Never mind, your majesty. What is your opinion of democracy? And it's very important that Ethiopians pay attention to this, right? Um, His Majesty says, democracy, republics, what do these words signify? <laughs> what do these words signify? What have they changed in the world? Have men become better, more loyal, kinder? Are the people happier? All goes on as before, as always. Illusions, illusions. Right? Besides, one should consider the interests of a nation before subverting it with words. Democracy is necessary in some cases. And we believe, the Father and the Son believe, some African peoples might adopt it. But in other cases, it is harmful, a mistake. You see, and many people are, are learning, so many people are learning this, unfortunately, sadly, too late. So it's very clear that His Imperial Majesty, you understand, was the only one telling the truth. You know what I'm saying? And it was in spirit and in truth. Trust but verify. So as we verify, you know what I'm saying, the teaching of His Imperial Majesty, as we verify His life, then, then, then most assuredly, He was not down with boisterous white supremacy, you understand, but they hated him, you know what I'm saying, and they plotted that conspiracy against his imperial majesty along with the careless Ethiopians. This is what is very clear for us to understand and should and must be understood very, very, you know, in, in spirit and in truth. Pray on this. Don't take our word for it. Really sincerely pray to the Father in the name of the Son, Jesus Christus, Ketachin. You know what Anyway. Let us move forward. So we want to just to point that out right there, you know, as we go through this, right? So she goes on, fallacy says, Your Majesty, have you ever regretted? Notice, notice how she's, are you picking up something? I mean, are you, uh, do you have a spirit of discernment? Can, can you hear these words? Here's what she's saying. Your Majesty, have you ever regretted? You, you know when folks talk that way? Have you ever regretted your kingly what? Fate? Not your kingly fate which is the royal law. But have you ever regretted your kingly fate? Have you ever dreamed? Have you ever dreamed? I've dreamed a dream. You know, of living the life of an ordinary mortal? So notice, she doesn't think his majesty, Oriana Falachi, right, Falachi, Falachi, she doesn't even think, <laughs> you know, that his majesty is an ordinary mortal. Right? His Imperial Majesty, Alba says, we, the Father and the Son, don't understand that question. You know, I mean, you got to write that one down. You know, if somebody comes to you, we don't understand that question. We don't understand that question. Even at the hardest, most painful moments, we have never regretted or cursed our fate. Uh, never. And, well, and why? Why should we? Why should we have? We were born of royal blood. Rastafari. Authority, right, is ours, is I and I's by right. And since our Lord, right, Getachin, 
Adonanu, the Creator, has deemed we might serve our people as a father serves his son. Wow. You over that right there? As a father serves his son. I mean, we have to study this. I mean, in light of the word, not just subjectively, but keeping our eye on the object. You understand? Know on the Amen. You understand? Know the Amen. And Amen be Yeshua's name. Amen be Christ's name. So he says that we might serve. He has deemed that we might serve our people as a father serves his son. Being a monarch is a great joy to us. It's what we were born for and what we have always lived for. Wow. Wow. Now, now you know, to overstand this, I, I, I mean, um, can, can we please, because I, I just need to share this with you all, and those who get it, you overstand, share it with those who are willing to receive, right? What does His Majesty say right here, right? And we, and we have to overstand this right here about the Father and the Son, right? So let us, let us put Father and let us put Throne Right, let's say father and throne, right? Father and throne. Actually, um, we should, uh, how many, how many, how many, 17, okay, so it's one page where we're going to Revelation, all right? Here we're in Revelation, right? And, and let's overstand right this right here. That's what we say, Christ is kingly character. Look at Luke 3, uh, Luke uh, 32. He, speaking of Yeshua, right, speaking of the Son, he shall be, he shall be great and shall be called, the son of the highest, right? And the Lord God, Adonai Yahweh, shall give to him the throne of his father David, of his father David, right? Now, Revelation 3 and 21 says, To him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me, this is Yeshua speaking, the son speaking, in my throne, even as I also overcame and am set down with my Father in his throne. Now, remember when Christ, when he was uh, ascended, when he ascended, right? He ascended to where? Where did he ascend? He ascended to the what? Right hand of the Father, right? He ascended to the right hand of the Father, to the right hand of the Father. Let it... Let us, um, he is seated down, right? Um, um, let's see, the Lord says, my Lord, sit at my, sit, let's put sit and put right hand, right? Sit at my right hand, right? Sit at my right hand. Okay, we have Psalm 110, and that's one of the Psalms that His Imperial Majesty chanted, you know what I'm saying, and that was chanted when he was coronated in that, acceptable year of the Lord, 1930, right? A, a Psalm of David. The Lord said to my Lord, in other words, this is caps here, this is 3068, and this is 113. This is Yahweh, and this is Adonai, right? Adonai. And we already showed you how the Luciferian and Satanists, they hate Adonai. They call him black, because, yes, he is black, right? Sit thou, you know what I'm saying, at my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool. So the Father, Yahweh, is saying to my Lord, you know what I'm saying? My Lord, Adonai, Yeshua, the Lord, that Jesus, Yeshua, is Adonai. He is Lord, right? Overstand that right there. So the Father is saying to the Son, sit at my, my right hand until I, make, uh, until I make thine enemies thy footstool. Now think about the until, the philosophy, which hold one race superior and another and, and how many untils? There are nine untils, right? There are nine untils there. So let's go here. I, I mean, there's a whole scene where, where um, Yeshua also asks them, you understand, um, 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 whose son, whose son is, is, is the Messiah, right? And, and there's a whole thing that also kind of connects with this. Now, remember, remember um, St. Stephen, Estefanos, how he was martyred, right? Look right here. It says, okay, David himself saith in the book of Psalms, the Lord, Yahweh, right, said to my Lord, you understand? Or, or it might be Dios, here this is Dios, said to my Lord, to Kurios, 
right? Or actually, they have probably Kodios, Kodios here, and this is this is the the Greek. You know what I'm saying? It says, "Sit thou at on my right hand." Now here it says, "Hereafter shall the Son of Man sit up on the right hand of the what? The power, right? The power of God. That's authority. That's higher." Right, as the might and power of the Trinity. Acts 2 and 34, For David is not ascended into the heavens, but he saith himself, he bearing witness that the Lord said to my Lord, Sit thou on my right hand. Now we see right here in Hebrews 1, 13, it says, But to which of the angels saith he at any time, Sit on my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool. And that is the whole basis of the enmity. You know what I'm saying? That's the whole basis of the enmity between, between um, Satan or Lucifer, right? Lucifer and, and the black man and, and humanity in general. You know what I'm saying? So we have Christ saying, right, that the overcomers, speaking to I and I, will sit with him on that throne. Now, if you look into the book of, uh, where is it, is, is, was it Ephesians, where it said we are seated in heavenly places. Look that up in the scriptures. We are seated with Christ, right, in heavenly places, in the new birth. We are seated with him in heavenly places. So let's understand the Father and the Son relationship here. You know what I'm saying? His majesty is telling you himself. And in this particular interview right here, let's, let us return to this and go through this. This is some, some like rhema words right here to help one to see the fullness and have the scriptures to refer to. So what are we saying? We're saying that the Father himself, after the ascension, after the millennium, after that particular time has gone through, yes, there was a millennium, right? A after that time, and we can study that when we're studying the seven churches. So his majesty comes in the church that's known as Philadelphia, which is brotherly love. Over, and if you understand the apostasy that's working out and through the churches, you can then see that we were told of this time period and this dispensation where the Father, you understand, now would come forward where God would, would, would make known to all na visit all nations and make known his salvation. What is the salvation of his majesty? It is the Jesus Christos. It is Jesus Christ. What is the salvation of God? Now, some will say, well, God don't need salvation. Well, okay, you can say that. You can say what you're going to say. But the Word says that God will show His salvation. You know what I'm saying? His salvation. You see, your interpretation is wrong because it's been powered by the Gentile, Gentile um, misunderstanding. You know what I'm saying? Gentile misinterpretation. And also the racism, that enmity Satan has put into the hearts of white supremacy, of the Gentile world dominion. We see that with the racism, and if it's black, it's bad, and so forth and so on. And, and, and even we can't even see this in this postmodern time. But let's get through this right here. Now, Falachi, she goes on to say, Your Majesty, you are Ethiopia. Wow. So that means in taking His Majesty out the equation is like taking Ethiopia out the equation. Let's see how the Son of Man is linked. You know what I'm saying? The Son of Man is linked with Ethiopia. Ethiopia is that woman, and that's that woman who is Israel. Spiritual Israel. You know what I'm saying? Is Ethiopia. Now, Your Majesty, you are Ethiopia. And he just said to her that this is a father son relationship. That's why he says we, right? You are Ethiopia. It's you that keeps it in hand. Hmm. The hand of the Lord, right? That keeps it united. Wow. That keeps that unity. Are you overstanding this conspiracy, this COINTELPRO conspiracy against the black Messiah, against Christ and his kingly character? What will happen when you are no longer there? That's what they were concerned with. That was probably the heart of the question that she was sent to ask. You understand? What will happen? So we can see that what has happened, and let's just show you this right here again. We can see that what has happened didn't just happen the way they want to make you believe. You understand? This fragmentation didn't just happen just like that. But that truly it was, and it still is, because it's ongoing. This was and this is a conspiracy. You understand? Against His Majesty. 
right? This, 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 is, this is where we're at. Now, it's interesting because if it happened in Ethiopia, how should it not happen in every nation? You see a lot of these other nations ain't going for it. They're trying to fight back. You understand? They begin to recognize. Now, we have to recognize that His Majesty already spoke on these things. We might not have opportunity in this vid to get into it, but if you look for the Victory Day, the Independence Day, the May 5th, 1941 day speech of His Imperial Majesty, he basically clearly states um, that, the, that the, the, the godless and the cruel dragon, you understand, has once again arisen. Now, we know what this dragon is. You know what I'm saying? We recognize what this dragon is, and this kind of will lead into that um, the video clip that we originally wanted to start out with. You know what I'm saying? From um, the power behind the New World Order. He was watching this vid. It's out there on the YouTube's. He was watching it, and then the Rama, you know, the Rama word basically revealed to I and I that this will help explain better to ones and ones this scene right here. What happened with the students? You know what I'm saying? What happened with the students? You understand? And, 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 and these teachers that came into Ethiopia, you understand? Not the, not the first and maybe even not the second bunch, but definitely the latter bunch of, of these teachers that came into Ethiopia, what they were really on. So maybe that will be better for another part because that's a little bit different. You understand? That's, a, that, that's another subject matter, although we've touched on it from the very beginning. All right? So we try to take this to about an hour or so. So just be here with I and I. All right, um, so his majesty asks, and this I think will be the third time, right, because she asks what will happen when you are no longer there. She, she already said that he is Ethiopia. He keeps it in hand, you understand? And she's already, um, you, know, you know what they call it, like when you're playing cards, it's like a tell? She's already signaling a tell in what she's saying to anybody who has discernment, anybody who's wise, would, would or should immediately pick up on this. His majesty says, what do you mean? We do not understand this question. Remember, they only move on the physical level, on what they can see, so forth and so on. You know what I mean? They only move on this. So, so she said, like, because the Father and the Son is, is there. As long as they are holy ones, as long as there's one who's calling on his name and, 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 and in spirit and in truth, he is there. You know what Now, Falachi says, when you die, your majesty. You see that right there? When you die. He says, what do you mean? We do not understand this question. She says, when you die, your majesty, right, boom. You know what we're saying right here? When you die, is God dead? You, 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 are, are you overthinking this? Are you seeing this link? And notice how his majesty says, we, right, the father and the son, you understand, doesn't understand that question. He overstand, doesn't understand that question. He over, doesn't understand that question. And she says, well, when you die. So we say, this is that link with, is God dead? You understand? This is that link right here with, is God dead? And, and they already have signaled it. Now, this is 73. You understand? The conspiracy now is about to get into, into high gear. You understand? But it could never happen unless there were um, traitors within that's the key thing right there. You understand? Know because they've been fighting against Ethiopia ever since Ethiopia was Ethiopia. And, now, and His Majesty can give you a little history lesson about Ethiopia here. His Majesty says right, right here, says, Ethiopia has existed for 3,000 years. In fact, it exists ever since the first man appeared on earth. Wow. Since the first man did what? Since the first man appeared on earth. My dynasty, not dynasty, but the, 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 the conspirators, they're going to die nasty. But I and I is our divine dynasty, right? And he says, my dynasty has ruled since the queen of Sheba met King Solomon. And a son was born, right? A son was born of their union. It is a dynasty that has gone through the centuries and will go on for centuries more. So some people say, oh, the monarchy can't be restored. That's what they think. They might say over their dead body, but hey, whatever. You understand? His majesty already has said the word. The rhema word has gone out, and that word will not go back. It will return empty. 
with it, it will go on for what centuries more. So what we're seeing right now is like the baby burping, in a sense, you know, on, on, in, in the big picture. You know what I'm saying? It's like a little hiccup. I, I mean, of course, because of men and people and their deeds, it's, it's much worse for them. But so be it. Let's see if we did, if we did put this picture here. You understand? Know I don't think we did. You understand? Know and, and forgive me, brothers and sisters. There was a picture of Solomon, the Queen of Sheba. You understand? Know um, picture from from our other drive, right? From our other drive. But let's bring this up right here so you can understand where we're at in this prophetic picture. Because prophecy is, is, is very, very important, right? The prophecy right here shows this, right? If, if, if you can remember the stone, the stone which the builders, the stone which the builders refused. You know what I'm saying? The stone which the builders refused becoming the head of the corner, right? The stone which the builders refused. It, Here's where we're at, this stone that fills at the kingdom there. This is judgment, right? The divided kingdoms. You know what I'm saying? We also have the League of Nations part, Christ's kingdom, right? Christ's kingdom, the kingdom of David. So you can see that link, how that link comes into, into, full, um, into full view right there. And that stone right there that crashes on this um, the divided kingdom, the feet of the beast, or the feet of this uh, so-called... Um, new world, really it's the old world order. But his majesty is explaining that this dynasty is not a Johnny come lately or something just spring up, but this dynasty has gone on and he says that it will, you know what I'm saying? He says that it will go on for what? He says for centuries more, for centuries. Let, let us understand centuries means like hundreds of years. Some people think that this is not the case, but if you study Ethiopia history, you'll see that there were other times, not like this in, 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 in its intensity, but there were other times when there were slight um, um, interruptions, you know, what I'm saying, due to, um, due to the enemies, the Satana, right? But he goes on to say that a king is not indispensable. Whoa. A king is what? Not indispensable. And... Besides, my succession is already ensured. There is a crown prince, and he will rule the country when we are no longer there. There's already a crown prince. You understand? Know There's already that crown by Hitawi. There's already Rastafari. There's already the crown prince. This is what we have decided, and so it must be. Right? And so, remember, we're not even 40 years. In fact, we're like in the space of one king. So you recognize that in the Bible, we're talking about the space of one king. The space, the divine space of one king is 40 years, right? So, Falachi, Falachi, she comes back again and she says, um, um, On the whole, Your Majesty, yours has not been a very happy life. Uh, you, you, are you getting what's going on here? You, know, you can put up a picture on the side right here, but others who who rework, you understand, who rework this, you understand, can, can, can fill it up, all right? That's that, that permission granted, right? Those you love have all died. Now, this makes me think that those who he has loved really probably were killed or, or, or there was, you know what I mean? Not that they just died, you understand, because you can see where she is, you, you can see the bend, you understand, you know, in her serpentine form. From her words. By your words, you'll be justified. By your words, you'll be condemned. You see what she's saying? So she says, your wife, two daughters, you have lost many of your illusions. Now she's trying to throw that word back at our father. How dear that be at. You understand? You over? And many of your dreams. He already said he's not about illusions, illusions, or dreams. But, 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 but she's an unrepentant serpent, right? This Falachi, Falasi woman right here, right? Um, she goes on and says, but you most, I imagine. Now, she's imagining. She's, she's saying she's a jinn. She's saying I'm a jinn, right? She's imagining, right? Have accumulated great wisdom. And of this I ask, how does Hila Falasi view death? All right? Are you seeing it? 
how does Hala Selassie view death? And, and this could be a whole vid. You know what I'm saying? I mean, a necessary sermon in every region where ones want to know the truth for themselves. Right? So how does Hala Selassie view death? What's His Majesty's answer? What? View what? View what? You remember what the word says that those who trust will not even see death? You know what I'm saying? Those who trust in Him will not even see death. There's one that says, see death, right? Well, let's just go through this. Is death to your majesty? Death to your majesty. No, she really was saying death to you, your majesty, right? His majesty said, death? Death? Who is this woman? Satan. You know what I'm saying? That's Satana. That was Satana right there. Where does she come from? She come from the pit, right? What does she want? <laughs> Enough! Back up. Go away. And this is Kasufi or Sesufi, uh, Kasufi. You know what I'm saying? Kasufi, Kasufi, Kasufi. And it was go away, away with you. That was Oriana Falachis. It's full of cheese. Let's just show you her, her mug. Let's see the mug on her. Here's her right here. Right? Here's her right here. That was the woman right there, right? Here's her a, again right here doing some other kind of thing. She's in Tehran. Tehran, one to tear Tehran down. Here's a character picture of her. Oh, you see that right there? Where she thought she could put somebody, make somebody small. You know what I'm saying? She's the big, she's the big one, right? Yeah, she's, she's a big one, all right. You know what I'm saying? That's her right there. That's the woman who... That's the woman right there, right? Mm-hmm. So, brothers and sisters, see Rastafari, you're saying Rastafari, ride on. You know, ride on. Rastafari, Watadar, Watadar Roach. You're saying soldiers of Ja, Rastafari. So, I hope you kind of get an overview. This is more expanding on the Is God Dead? You understand? Picking up on that, is God dead? You can see the half of the story. You understand? You can get that other half of the story that was not told. All right? So share this, download this, put it out on, on, on DVD, share this with others, you know, um, different churches of Rastafari mansions and Bible studies, you know, um, for, for an honest, you know, for something that's honest so you can get some monies and and get more blanks and permission granted, you understand, in the spirit and the truth of the King of Kings and his Christ. So we're going to um, sum up right here on this part and probably mainly call this part, you know, concerning, um, you know, God is dead, right to your God is dead, and the death of his majesty, the alleged, you understand. But you know what, before we just sum up on this right here, of course we have to give you this and... If we had the Abba Caduce, you know, the Abba Caduce photo, that basically right there. Um, let's do this um, so we can skip that, uh, you know, so we can skip that photo right there. Um, let us look up um, actually in, 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 in Revelation, right? In Revelation, let us, um, is, it, is it on the Abba or is it on the, let's see if we can get that right there. Okay, so. There's a verse right here, and we want to give you the 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 verse for this, and it's um right dead alive live. Mm -hmm. And it says it dead alive and dead. Let's see right here. Um, it's, it's a Revelation verse. Here it goes right here. You see this verse right here? Verse 118. Mm-hmm. As well as verse um, 2 and 8 concerning that whole uh, death, the whole, that whole death thing. So we see that, you know, like it, like it says, Matthew has never, you know, cursed, you know, he, has, he hasn't cursed his, uh, cursed his, his fate, as it were. You know, to serve Ethiopia as a father, right, serves his son. 
You know what I'm saying? So we know that his his majesty is speaking um spiritually. You know what I'm saying? Speaking spiritually at that point. So revelation, right? Revelation reveals the truth. So when you see that particular photo right there, um, let us bring this up, uh we want to keep this in time right here. It says, I am he that liveth and was dead. You know what I'm saying? And was, was dead, right? You were just dead to the world. Or, you know, like when somebody, I'm dead to the world, right? right? And behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And have the keys of hell and of death. John is going to give the, the Satanists and the Luciferians and the enemies, right? Because all that innocent blood, you don't give them hell. You understand? Know and death. Revelation 2 and 8, it says, And to the church, and to the angel of the church in Smyrna, write these things. Right? Uh, um, 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 right, right. It says, write. These things saith the first and the last. Edomawi Haile Selassie, the first, or Haile Selassie first. The last king of kings of Ethiopia, which was what? Dead and is alive, right? And, and here we go right here. You understand with a, a picture testimony. You understand? And stay tuned. Um, we're going to speak about the sightings, you know. Some are talking about sightings and other sightings. We're not looking for any other sightings. We don't need any other sightings. Because what, what the Rastafari said Jalib, Yahai, Yahai, Jalib, children, yeah, you know what I'm saying? That, that, that he lives, behold, you know what I'm saying? 120, behold, he lives, and he lives for evermore. We now, as the children, as, as, as the faithful, must meet him there, you know what I'm saying? Not in just physical Ethiopia, but one enters into the gates, his gates, remember, one must enter into his gates in that new birth, in that, in that purity, you know what I'm saying, of, of, of the new birth, the, of, of the faith in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. But wherever we are, you know what I'm saying, we can meet him there because lower revelation says that he will be in us and dwell in us. You know what I'm saying, he will be in his people and he will dwell in his people. What the prophet said, that there, there's going to come a time when nobody will have to say, um, 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 no God, or, 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 or like, like learn of the Lord, or, or have to teach anybody about like religion. You know what I'm saying? Because we're gonna be that spirituality in the new birth will be in I and I. That's the fullness and the fulfillment of the prophetic word. So when ones and ones wanna speak about these things, please uh, let them check this out. And like we said, permission granted to the brothers and the sisters, the co-laborers, you know, and to download these vids and put them together. You know what I'm saying? Be creative, but be in the spirit and the truth. You know what I'm saying? And allow, allow, allow his Holy Spirit to give you that fruit. You know, and turn to him. Pray to the Father, to Abba, in the name of Gietai Jesus Christos. Make your petitions, you know what I'm saying, known. You know what I'm saying? And have faith, my brothers and sisters. This too will pass. We have overcome, because as he is, so are we in this seclorum. Amen. And all the Rastafari sayeth, Amen. Shalom Rastafari.